Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. I'm going to be talking about Resident Evil. So, Resident Evil, as you may or may not know, is based on a video game series. A very good video game series. Um, I've only played a little bit of it. I haven't gotten too much, um, too much into the video games as I have the movies. Um, the movies, let me tell you, Mila Jovovic was on her A game, she owned that franchise, um, I believe her husband is the director, and he did so obnoxiously great at, um, the direction and the, the overall picture of each movie <clears throat> and the story that they were um, telling. So I believe that there's six movies to the Resident Evil series. Um, because I know that there's Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil uh, Afterlife, but I thought that was the fourth one. Retribution, um, and then of course the final chapter, but anyway, um, hold on a sec. So, there are six movies. There's Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident, Resident Evil Extinction, which I can't believe that I forgot the title of that because it, it was my favorite until Final Chapter came out. Uh, Resident Evil Afterlife, Resident Evil Retribution, which was really good, and then the Final Chapter, which was the sixth one. Um, but anyway, here's the... Oop, upside down. The very cool box set. This is just the five, but I have the sixth one, obviously, over there on my movie shelf. <coughs> and hold on, somebody's messaging me. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> Um, so, Resident Evil was good, very good start, and I really liked the story, um, I believe Michelle Rodriguez was in the first one, I always love seeing her in movies, um, and the, the first movie is really solid, it's a really great first movie. Um, when I first watched the second one, which is Apocalypse, I can't say as I liked it very much. Um, I actually thought that it was a huge step back from the first one. I don't think that it was as good as the first one, but that was my opinion at the time. I rewatched it. I do like it more now than I, I did. <laughs> And it, it flows better now that there is more of them. But when it first came out, I didn't like it as the, uh, nowhere near as good, good as the first one. So the first one was really good, a good setup. The second one is good now that I've seen the rest of the series, and it flows better. Resident Evil Extinction, I really, really, really loved. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Um, 
and and the fight scene at the end of Extinction was really great. Uh, I like that it was very a lot more action and uh, the villain um just everything about Extinction I really really loved. And then Resident Evil Afterlife. Yes, that's the fourth one. I knew that Afterlife was the fourth one. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Afterlife was... It was good. It was good. It served its purpose. It continued the story. Um... Stylistically, I think that it was different. I don't know, maybe they changed things up a little bit. Um, but I did like it. It was it was a good fourth movie. Usually fourth movies are not that great. Um, this one was pretty good. It wasn't... I mean, the Resident Evil series really doesn't have a terrible movie within the, movie, within the franchise. Um, some are better than others, but none of them really stick out as, oh my god, that was terrible. Um, but if the franchise, if this particular franchise were to have a movie like that, I'd have to say Apocalypse, but Apocalypse did age well, and it is better as you view it in order with the rest of the series. <clears throat> anyway, back on to Afterlife. Afterlife was really good. I had some really good action sequences, and yeah, I liked it. Um, Retribution, I think, is the fifth one. Yes, Retribution. So, <clears throat> I really loved Retribution. Um, so, when the first four came out, Extinction was my favorite, and then Retribution was really, is really memorable for me. Um, I remember a lot more than like the finer details of that one than I do the rest of them besides the final chapter in Extinction. Um, there's a lot of crazy, crazy stuff that happens in Retribution. Insane. Um, the, the, um, oh, how do you, the Sims, basically, is, I guess, how you would put it, the Sims of the different locations are actually re, re, um, done? In, in different ways, in the Umbrella Corporation, whatever was going on in Underground, and it was really, really insane. Uh, the action sequences, the story, I really, really did love the style um, that they were going for, the, the pacing, the direction, everything, I really, really, really did, did love everything about Retribution. Besides the ending, I... It's not that I didn't like the ending, it's that... It was hard to watch. Because... It was more of a... Good, a bad guys win kind of thing. But... Overall, it is an excellent, solid movie. And the ending doesn't take anything away from the movie. It just... It just wants you to make the hero come back and whoop ass better and tougher and stronger and everything than they ever have before. <clears throat> and then the final chapter. Uh, the final chapter was they really went above and beyond to really finish the series on a high note. No, it might have not have grossed more than the rest of the series at the box office, but 
money has nothing to do with the quality that the film was made with, with the, um, with the direction and with the, the satisfactory end results that I had. And that matters most. The ending, the conclusion, um, where the characters ended, um, stuff like that. That, that is more important than in making a billion dollars at the box office. Uh, and really, it, it didn't matter because it was the last one of the series anyway, so it doesn't matter how good or how bad it did. Because story-wise and quality-wise, it ended on a great note. So, there's that. <clears throat> and I did go to theaters and watch this one, I do believe. Um, I didn't previously watch any of them in theaters, I don't think. I could be mistaken. I think that I did watch Retribution in theaters, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, the last... And it's really good when... Like... Because it's kind of like... Every other movie is okay, and, or good, and then every other movie is great or brilliant. Um, besides the last two. The last two were two solid pieces. And that, that was enjoyable to watch when you watch them all the way through. <clears throat> so, uh, props to Mila Jovovic and everybody else with the creation of the movie series because really they did great. At the time, there was really only two uh, female-led franchises that were absolutely brilliantly made. And that was Underworld with Kate Beckinsale and Resident Evil with Mila Jovovic. So, and those two ladies are so amazing and own their roles. And it was really fun to go back and forth between <laughs> werewolves and vampires and then zombies. And other creatures that were, like, made from the Umbrella Corporation. In the ending, like, in the final chapter of Resident Evil was so twisted and so unexpected. Well, for me, because I'm not a game person, per se, so it was shocking when the revelations were revealed and stuff like that. And... Let's not pretend that that creepy girl that says you're all going to die down here isn't, like, epic or anything. Uh, <laughs> and I love how they actually played it at the end of the credits, too. I do, during the credits or at the end of the credits. Um, yeah, it was very memorable. Um, the, like, there's so many different things that happen in the series. And, um... It's great because it's a progressive story. Sometimes it doesn't make sense when each movie comes out because they're in an entirely different location or something entirely different is going on. But as the series was winding down and it shows everything, it, like, it all makes sense. And it, it complements the series. Versus just leaving you hanging and you're like, eh. This one is like... It's very artistically done. So... Um... Anyway, that's my review on the Resident Evil series. And... Um... Hopefully Mila Jovovic... Uh... Leads another series like this. Um... <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of hers. I loved her in Ultraviolet, I loved her in, obviously, the Resident Evil series, I loved her in The Fifth Element, um, I loved her in the one where, I believe she's blind, and she ends up, like, it's a thriller type of movie, 
I can't remember the name of it. I think it has something to do with glass in the title or something like that, or blind. But, um, that was an excellent movie. Uh, and she was just in the newest, uh, reboot of, uh, Hellboy, and she was great in that. Like, absolutely love this woman. Same thing with Kate Beckinsale. So, like, they should really, uh, lead franchises together and, like, not compete, but, like, you know, it, it's fun when you have, uh, when you have two totally different genre movie franchises with people that you absolutely love and own their roles. So, anyway, I'll let you guys go for tonight, and... Make sure you give my video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and have a great night everybody.